This is a video for all of you beginning guitarists out there wanting to learn more about effects pedals. So today we're going to be talking about what effects pedals are, how you should be using them if you wanted to get different sounds. So we're going to go into detailed descriptions on what order you should be putting your effects pedals in, whether you should have your delays first or whether you should have them last. It's a pretty tricky business, we're going to talk about that later. We're also going to go through the listening process, which is listening to a song or a guitarist, one of your favourite guitarists, whether that be Jimi Hendrix or someone else, and listening to what they sound like and learning how to use your effects pedals in a certain way to replicate their sound. So yeah, we're going to talk about that later, and we're also going to talk about how to find your sound, what you like, but yeah, it'll all be explained later on in further depth. Thanks. Okay, so this is video one, showing what effect your um, chain order has on your guitar's sound. So I'm going in through my Ice 9 Overdrive, straight into the TC Electronic Delay, into my Marshall Valve State Amp. Got all of my Overdrive um, knobs turned to 12 o'clock, and I've just tapped in the delay on the delay um, to the tempo of the riff that I'm going to use to demonstrate what sound it has. Okay, so. Here's it going through the overdrive, into the delay, into the amp. Again, just a basic riff to show what sound it has when you're going in through the overdrive, into the delay. Okay, so this time you can see that we've got the cable going from the delay output into the overdrive input through the cable into the amp. So this is what it sounds like. Same riff um, going through the delay into the overdrive into the amp. Same riff through both of the pedals. Could you hear the difference in that one? It was obviously getting very muddled up because the um, sound was going straight into the delay and then going through the overdrive. Now what this does is um, it's looping the clean sound and then trying to get those loops to be affected by the overdrive and it just makes everything um, go head over heels. It just messes it up. Now. This is why, generally speaking, most guitarists would put their delay at the end of their um, effects pedal. The delay and the flange and your um, looping pedals go to the end of your effects pedal because, yeah, it just makes you have these weird and wacky sounds. Okay, so this is the second video. This is showing the listening process um, that you need to use if you're trying to replicate the sound of a certain guitarist. So the guitarist I've chosen is Joe Satriani because I've obviously got his overdrive pedal and um, the song that I am doing is If I Could Fly. So here's the song. So then that just repeats. Okay, so I've got my delay pedal here and my um, Ice 9 Overdrive just going into my amp. Now this is just the, the clean effect, this is the, um, the little riff that he does, so it's the... So then, obviously, you can hear that he's got overdrive in it, so you add a little bit of overdrive. Okay. But 
then if we listen to it again, just a small bit of it. We hear it's a little bit squealier. So if we turn the gain up a bit, turn the bass down a bit. Still not quite there, so we add the the more button. Now that's pretty close if we listen again. Now we need to get that echoey sound that he's got going on there, so that's where the delay comes in. Now we need to get the um, to get the echo going. You don't want to have the regular delay going. So if we, if, I'll show you what I mean. If we have the um, regular tempo going, so it's the that sounds very wrong so what we need to do is we need to turn the feedback down to pretty much zero and we want to turn the mix level down to about 90 degrees mod level up or down rather okay now if we listen to that again getting a little bit closer but we need to go a little bit faster so we don't have that laggy bit behind so if we go a little bit faster there we go so if we listen to what he does again So we can hear that it's, when I do it, it's still a little bit behind, so it's got that, we've got that one extra beat, so we've got a, if we go into our subdivisions, we change it to this one, should be a bit closer. That's the listening process. It just involves listening to what you're doing over and over again, trying to get it to make your effects pedals sound the same way. Okay, so in this video I'll be talking about the music sources that I've used. So, um, when I was online I've used um, freeguitarlessons.com or justinguitar.com, um, gsmarts.org, well, there's there's heaps and heaps of websites that you can use when you go online. Um, another thing that I've um, found online is for your chain orders is this acronym. It's which chain of effects pedals makes life easier. Now the W from which equals wah, so you get your wahs first. Chain is compression, so all your compression pedals of overdrive. So the starting letter from each word is the same as the type of pedal. Effects equalizes pedals pitch makes modulation life level easier and that's echoes so all your delays and stuff okay now I sort of agree with that the one thing that I change is the level because I have my obviously my volume pedal at the start just because I find it a bit easier but some guitarists have it after their distortions I don't know it's whatever preference you really want that's the whole idea of chain orders there's no real rules in line you can sort of bend the rules. Um, yeah. <laughs>